Welcome to another episode of Dad Reads. Um, today we're going to be reading There's uh, No Place Like Space with the Cat in the Hat. It's by Tish Rabi and illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. So if you have this book, you can go ahead and uh, read along and learn to read. Or you can just listen to the story and enjoy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There is no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go, we'll fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars and in case you've missed them, you will soon see our planets in the solar system. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury is so close to the sun's bright light. It is hot in the daytime but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same, hot, dry, and windy, with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here's a clue. It is my, my home and home to thing one and two. You have, to, you have been living on it since your birth. It's the third from the sun. It is our planet, Earth. It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day, and it will never stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the earth is always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way, because we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it's covered in dust. Travel to Jupiter and you'll find it's the biggest it's bigger than all the other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think? It could float in an ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune Planet 8 is a beautiful blue. We have seen all the planets, now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Say Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickey, just saved up. 999 nickels. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. A dog, the great bear, Leo the lion, and the hunter Orion. A star in the sky may look small, like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball, and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. It's called... From the Earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt, and that would be no fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute a million of our Earths could fit right within it. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first, we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror, it reflects the sun's light. 
Astronauts flew to the moon to explore a place no one had ever been to before. They walked on the moon and they drove all over in a special moon car called a lunar rover. An astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing 2 wants to be one. In fact, so do I. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I bought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take thing one and two up to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something new. The end. So, that was There's No Place Like Space with the cat in the hat. This is a... <clears throat> Thank you for um, reading with me, listening to the story. This is dedicated to all you out there trying to uh, learn to read. And those of you who have little ones trying to learn to read. And... Um, I want to thank you for watching. So if you like this video, like it. Um, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try to be a little bit more um, consistent with video updates. If you have any requests for books you want me to read, leave them down in the comments. And I'll go ahead and uh, look up the books and buy them or get them from the local library and read them to you guys. Alright. Again, thank you. I hope you have a great, great day.